Baby is the new leader of the Labour Group on Cambridge City Council, replacing Anna Smith. He's expected to be signed in soon as leader of the council. Morning, Mike. Good morning, Dottie. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, you. No secret, Mike, that Anna was hoping to stay on as leader. What happened? Every year, uh, the Labour Group, after the elections, has an AGM, an annual general meeting. And at that meeting, um, we are encouraged to look at uh, all the positions within the party. Um, both Anna and I put our names forward. As a result of that um, uh, annual general meeting vote, I was therefore elected by a group as the leader. I think the really positive thing that came out of it is that Anna will continue to work with the combined authority, where she's been doing a wonderful job uh, deputising for Nick Johnson. And so therefore, we will work together to take things forward within the Labour Party. But, but why did you think that she wasn't the right person to lead the group and lead the authority? I think it was not, not, it's as much to do with what the group felt, obviously, I put my name forward. I think, I think I wanted a change of emphasis in terms of what we were doing. It's no surprise, no secret from what has been already said this morning, that there was disagreement within the group. And I think it was very important, therefore, we've tried to come together and unify and move forward around a whole range of issues, uh, but most obviously the congestion charge. Um, I think we. I think it's interesting the debate this morning. I think we felt that we'd become quite inward-looking, and therefore we wanted to concentrate more on what was going on externally, particularly around developing uh, the city and the opportunities we've got within the city. But also, we've got a major job in transforming the council, um, and with which we've got to find a whole pile of things. But at the same time get it fit for purpose for the future. So I think it, there was a range of issues. And I think it's, it's more about change of emphasis more than anything. I think the key bit for me is, again, that um, as we, we got elected, we got 27 councillors, um, and therefore it's how we move forward collectively. Well, what was, what was wrong with Anna Smith's emphasis in her dealing with the congestion charge? What is the disagreement there? I don't think it's so much about Anna Smith's um, uh, okay, what, what's the split in the group? What the didn't group? you like about the previous direction of travel? It was the fact that we were clearly um, of, of different views across the group and people who are under no illusion about that. So what we were trying to do and what we've tried to do is to look at how we can go forward collectively. Um, we will look again at what people say within, within, um, within the city. Clearly that must inform us. Uh, Alex made comments yesterday about whether we're listening. I think the first thing we need to do is to do exactly that, is to listen, to reconnect with those communities that we serve in the more traditional areas uh, that we vote Labour in the past. I think it's really important we do that, we listen and come up with a collective view. I think the key part to stress is that, um, is that the current proposals as they currently stand are just not acceptable to the party and we have to therefore find an alternative option. And the only way we can do that is by listening to the people of this city and when the consultation process has finished which is coming to an end now i.e the an analysis of the consultation then we can take steps accordingly because if we did what we liked that would clearly be against the whole spirit of having a consultation in the first place well, where do you stand mike on the congestion charge question because people will want to know if you're going to be the leader of the city council yeah. they'll want to know what you think about it that's absolutely fine. Um, I believe that cover proposals are not acceptable. So um, what would you change? Uh, well, I think there's a whole range of things that we need to look at. Um, uh, I think when we were talking on the doorstep, the sort of issues that I particularly would like to see addressed are notions about uh, people being charged as they leave the city. Clearly, you don't address congestion if it's people leaving the city. I think um, small employers, uh, their whole, um, uh, you, you can't, jeopardize their income if you're going to uh, charge people who you know paint some decorators and the like who are coming into the city every day for work i think a key one is probably around adam Brooks, if i'm honest the um i would be very keen to look at how and what we do around people who are going to adam Brooks. and finally the most important thing of all is it needs to be a fair process and i think there needs to be adaptions accordingly but again the starting point for me is to listen to what the people say because if i came in and said that well, this is what we're going to do again alex would be right she we, that would imply that i wasn't listening and clearly the point for us has to be to listen to what the 23,000 who've responded have said
Mike, thank you very much for your time this morning. Councillor Mike Davy, there, the new leader of the Labour group that runs Cambridge City Council. He's expected to be installed as the leader of Cambridge City Council in the next few weeks.